What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here. Welcome to the game update for the month of February 2017. We have a few new games on the lineup, but it's another one of the slower months. Definitely not as slow as January. There was only one release in January, uh, which was Resident Evil 7, and it came at the end of the end of the month. So really January was a pretty dead month. But anyways, uh, we have ourselves a few games to go over, so I'm going to go through them right now. There's nothing for the first couple of weeks. The next game that comes out is on the 14th, and there's two of them. We have For Honor. Of course, I tried to get For Honor uh, the Collector's Edition. Uh, unfortunately, they stopped taking pre-orders. You can't get it on Amazon or anything, which is kind of annoying, because a lot of pre-orders you can actually buy uh, on Amazon. They just start, end up arriving a few days later. But as long as I get like a collect, or as long as I get it to unbox it, I'm usually a pretty happy camper. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that one, so unfortunately it is what it is. And chances are with that game, we are going to be doing it early, just because I've been sent for events, I've had early access to everything for it, and Ubisoft is awesome to deal with, so they're definitely gonna be sending me a code for that game. Um, See, so yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to do the campaign. I think the campaign's gonna be a lot of fun. I did only play a little bit of campaign, uh, mainly when I was at E3, and then when I got sent to Montreal to play, and there's some footage of that on, uh, on my channel as well, if you guys are interested in that. So, For Honor is gonna be the first new game you see of the month. Like I said, it's probably gonna be uh, the, either the, the day before or a few days before that. It all depends when Ubisoft decides to let the embargo go. So that's what's gonna happen there. Second, also on the 14th, is Sniper Elite 4. Now, I think the last Sniper Elite game came out in, I wanna say 2012? That sounds right, maybe 2013. It might have actually been 2013. I'm not 100% sure, but somewhere along there. So honestly, it's I love the Sniper League games. Uh, I think they're awesome. Uh, we definitely need uh, another one. So that's gonna happen on the 14th as well. No special edition or no anything like that. And we're probably gonna get that puppy on PC. Like I, I got it on PC last time, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I definitely got Zombie Army Trilogy on uh, PC, and that was a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, Sniper Elite V4, I guess it's just 4, is, is going to be the one after that. And finally, the last game of the month to release is on the 28th, and that is Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, this is a game that people have been anxious to see. A lot of people aren't sure what it's going to be like, but they want to check it out. So, I went ahead, I saw some I saw some advanced screenings at E3, you know, I got a, I got a chance to get some hands-on with it, no recording allowed, but I did get a chance to play it, and it seems like it's gonna be an awesome game, and I cannot wait for that one. I also pre-ordered the collector's edition of that one, so there will be an unboxing for Horizon Zero Dawn. I think it's gonna be a great game. So that is what's gonna be on the lineup for the 20, uh, on the 28th and February. Now, I'm just gonna throw this out there. I don't know if this is gonna happen, but it's been a couple of months, December, since we last uh, had a Walking Dead New Frontier. Uh, since they released a double episode, uh, my guess is they weren't gonna, I, I had a feeling they weren't gonna release anything in January. So my guess is the next episode, because usually they go month to month basis for most things, uh, my guess is they're gonna release episode three of The Walking Dead this month in February. That's my guess. So we'll see, I don't, I don't have it on here officially because there's no official announcement yet, but I'm just kind of letting you guys know that that's probably what's gonna happen, so. Now, let's move on to games that I wanna fill my time with. Now that Grand Theft Auto is done, or at least Vice City is done, uh, for those wondering, yes, I will be continuing the Grand Theft Auto series. However, I just don't wanna go right back into it. I just played a bunch of Vice City. I wanna play a different style game and then maybe go back. And I think the order I kinda wanna go back in is do the Grand Theft Auto 4 DLC. So like the Battle of Gate, Gay Tony, Lost and Damned, you know, those major expansion DLCs. And then I might, people ask me, like, Dan, are you gonna do the uh, the uh, stories games? So like Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories, that sort of thing. Uh, much smaller games, shorter games from what I understand. I've never played the stories games. Uh, so I don't know, maybe that could be a thing if you guys want me to see it. It's more like a, a spin-off series other than an official one, but it could be something I would do if you guys want me to, so just let me know about that. And also, uh, a game I wanted to do. It, I've been re recommended a few times over the over the you know the months and whatnot. Uh, I haven't done a Star Wars game in a while, so I think I'd like to go ahead and play a Star Wars Bounty Hunter. They were re-released it on the PS4 <coughs> uh, last year, I believe, maybe 2015. So it'd be updated. It's got it's gonna have trophy support, you know, a little upscale graphics, you know, to 1080p. So it should be 
a good experience and that's also a game i've never played i played so many games star wars related man that were running out you know what i mean there's so many star wars games but all the big flagship titles titles were kind of chiseling away at this big block of ice of star wars and uh eventually we'll have pretty much all the star wars games on the channel however i gotta be careful because ever since disney bought out the star wars franchise uh they've been a little less nice in terms of copyright i'm not surprised but I'll have to maybe make an adjustment or do something there. Hopefully not. But that's the next game I want to cover is Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Uh, I know I got a lot of recommendations for... I, I was actually kind of surprised at this. I didn't think this... The last game update, I saw it. Don't worry. A lot of people were uh, asking me to play Back to the Future, the Telltale series that came out. I believe that was 2011. Maybe even 2010. It's Maybe even 2009, actually. I'm not sure. It's fairly old now. Uh, but... I would have never guessed that people would have recommended that I play that game. I mean, normally I never get requests to play t old, like old Telltale games where all the episodes are available. Um, obviously, I guess that's something I could do if you guys really, really want me to. Um, that could be an option, but I do want to start with Star Wars for sure. But don't worry, this is a big month. We got lots to do. Um, I'm still working on WWE and NBA. Those ones are always long-term series. They take a long time. Kind of fell out of NHL and FIFA. It uh, doesn't mean they're fully quit right now, but I just haven't really been wanting to play them as of late. And I don't feel like it's, it makes sense to play a game you're not really into, because then your commentary isn't going to be all that fantastic. And I, I'm, a, I'm a little choked with the story of FIFA. I'm not really, I don't really care. You know what I mean? The FIFA story isn't very good. And, uh... And the NHL one, there's no, nothing at all. It's, there's non-existence. You'd think there'd be uh, something a little bit better. And I actually spoke to my brother, uh, and, he, and he plays NHL religiously. And he was telling me that this is the first time that they have actually done something, like, in a long, long time with this little interaction. He's like, there was a draft, and there was, like, all sorts of stuff that made you feel more involved with it. But um, this time, they just went super bare bones, and he was super disappointed. So if he's disappointed in an NHL game, you can bet your ass that it's going to be a disappointment. So anyway, we'll see what happens with that series. Uh, I'm not sure, because there are, there are people who like it and do want me to play it some more. So I'll probably have to find some time, maybe play a couple of weeks of uh, 2K, or sorry, not 2K, and NHL 17. But uh, obviously, we'll get to that bridge. When, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But until then, that is pretty much the lineup for the month. Anything else that you feel like I missed, I don't think I did. I know Halo Wars 2 is out. I figured I'd mention that. Probably won't be doing Halo Wars 2. Not usually a fan. Uh, I like RT so, some RTS games. Definitely not all of them. Um, but we'll see how it goes, per se. I don't know about Halo Wars 2 just yet. But anyway, we'll figure things out. So yeah, anything else you feel I missed, be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Those are down below in the description. I'll play the end credits video. Great way to uh, get in touch with me outside of YouTube, behind the scenes looks. You know, you can ask me questions, chat with me, whatever. It's, it's, I use social media every day. There's always something with me on there. So I recommend you go follow me. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my spreadsheet shop in the description as well. I know I've been saying this for a while, but I want to create a couple new designs. There's one I really want to do. Well, actually, kind of two that I'm thinking about. Uh, so I think I might add two new shirts to the list. We'll see what happens. But uh, until then, though, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks again, guys. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I can't wait to get into these games in February. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who the man with the plan? If you feel trouble, wild and wild, on these violent and hit you 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that style, it's dialed Dan. Goddamn Billy Jack, we still riding, tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black, what up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get like sabered. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that glocking, got them woofers, just Press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.